Hey you guys, welcome to 5 Minute Rounds. I wanted to show you this case because this is such a pretty sample. Um, it is just so pretty and pleasant to look at and I wanted to talk you through my thoughts as I'm looking through it. This is a 7 year old Great Dane who has a what does this paper say? <laughs> I can't read today. A two centimeter red growth, subcutaneous and firm on its dorsal left eyelid. So they are concerned about neoplasia, just given how it looks um, grossly, and they went ahead and aspirated it. So I'm looking at this on 10x, and you can see that there are a lot of cells in here, so that's great. Um, we always want cells to look at on cytology. And I'm going to get closer to these, but I just, I'm going to scroll pretty slowly here just to show you how cellular it is. So really nice cellular sample. Then popping down a bit closer to these, brighten things up a bit. So this is an inflammatory party up in here, and I don't know if you see them, but can you see all of these pretty, where's my arrow, pretty eosinophils in here. I hope you can see those and I'm going to get even closer so I can be sure that you see them. But this is super inflamed and a lot of the cells here, let's just get closer. Let's not beat around the bush here. And <laughs> go ahead and go to high power. All right, so here we are, high power. Oh my gosh, my focus is acting wild. Okay, there we go. Can see them in all their glory now. So really inflamed, tons of inflammatory cells here and as I scroll around you can definitely just see this the same pattern in pretty much every field. Uh, tons of inflammatory cells which are a combination of neutrophils, so this one is a neutrophil that kind of busted apart, um, and then our beautiful eos that have their pretty pink cytoplasmic granules that we all love and we also have some macrophages. Here's a macrophage here. He's kind of getting squished. There's a bunch of debris in the background. All these little dots are just debris. This is a ruptured cell. Sorry. Right. Cheer. Ruptured cell just blown apart, you know, so we just ignore that guy. Um, a couple of macrophages over here. And um, yeah, you can see that they have kind of like this little irregular nucleus and they have a little bit less cytoplasm than macrophages kind of typically do, but these are not lymphocytes because of um, they have more uh, cytoplasm than lymphocytes typically do and they're, again, their nucleus is more irregular. So this is just beautiful mixed inflammation with so many eosinophils, you guys. Like, wow. Um, so... I, I'll go ahead and give you a spoiler alert so that you know I, you don't have to see this entire sample, but this is what it looks like every, everywhere. I made sure to do a really thorough low power scan and a little higher power scan to make sure I didn't find any uh, neoplastic cells or anything like that, but I didn't. All I'm seeing is this crazy inflammation. So I don't know why this dog has this inflammation, um, but some things that I think of and one of the big things that I'm going to think of is um, when I have a little skin mass, especially if it's on the face, I like to think about insect bites. So insect or, or um, bite or sting hypersensitivity, they can do this. I can get this nice um, mixed inflammation, but specifically with those EOs. Um, some other things that you might see that with, I mean, really there's a long list, but you can get this with like some occult infectious diseases, especially with a ringworm. It likes to elicit a, um, an inflammatory response with eosinophils. Um, so you have to kind of correlate that with what you're seeing clinically, if that fits. And some other things like foreign body reactions and then some neoplasms. So one thing too that you can see this with is mast cell tumors, where you just get a ton of eosinophilic uh, inflammation in association with that. I don't see any mast cells in this entire sample, so I think that's probably less likely, but the caveat is is that you actually can have mast cell tumors that just get so edematous um, and inflamed with eosinophils that you don't, you may not actually see the mast cells in there. So even though I don't think this is a mast cell tumor, they really should biopsy it if it's not going away, but fingers crossed that it's not, and it's just a nice little focus of inflammation that's going to resolve with some time. So pretty sample for you guys today. I uh, hope you enjoyed it.